I was in Portland last week, two weeks ago. Did this tour, uh, Pacific Northwest tour with, with my band. And uh, I, actually it's been a week now, but last Sunday when I got home, oh my gosh, what a day that was. So it's uh, just after five o'clock Sunday morning. Today we are headed home after a week of touring up in the Pacific Northwest. Mom, yeah. Do we have a piano tomorrow? Yeah. Any more on the run or just tomorrow? Um, I don't know about the one after that, but at the final one. Got it. So gotcha, gotcha. Awesome. We got to drive from Spokane, Washington, back to Portland, Oregon to return the back line, the drums, the bass amp, keyboard, return the touring van, get to the airport and fly home. Just uh, stopping for gas at Starbucks and bathrooms. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and we're like, we're, we're, in, we're in like a Walmart type of store. And actually, the whole week was quite a quite a challenging week. The four of us were on the road. I was also the tour manager, which meant driving the van, renting the gear. So it's day two or three of the tour here. We're still in Portland, not going too far for tonight's show. All of us were loading the gear in and out of each venue, like all the drum set, the bass amp, the keyboard, and driving on icy roads, some of them with black ice. <laughs> My saxophone is still still giving me some problems in the low register due to the neck. I hit it on a ceiling at a club in Madrid last year. Actually, uh, we're going back to the, the same club next, next month, and uh, I will not be hitting it on the ceiling again, or at least I hope. what happens when you try to go too fast. You see what happens, Donnie, when you... You see what happens, Larry? You see what happens? This is what happens when you f Larry. <laughs> Sometimes I like to just try to jog my memory banks a little bit and just go full throttle into a song that I haven't played in a long time and see if it's still in the old muscle memory. You know, something that comes up a lot with, with my students is like, how do you remember tunes like in the long run? And um, there's a very easy answer to that. And that is, I don't. All right, so what I mean is, for me, it's like a short-term memory bank thing. The songs that I still know to this day the best are the ones that I played the longest ago and the most. And what's that thing about memory, recency, and primacy? The things you learn first and the things you've learned most recent. I find that to be very true. So everything in the middle, all the tunes that like, yeah, I've learned them, I've played them a lot, but it's maybe it's been a while. There's cobwebs all in there about those things. So yeah, sometimes I'll just do that. I'll, you know, right before I'm going to warm up or practice, just kind of like, it's just like a little Hey, what if I were, what if I were jumping on the band st stand right now and somebody was like, all right, let's play Stable Mates. Okay, sure, how's that? Thank you. 
uh, that's kind of in there. You know, muscle memory. I have no idea what I'm playing until I get there. Right when I get there, it's like my, my fingers kind of know what to do, sort of. It's muscle memory. So it just comes from repetition of playing that sucker a lot and probably slow over time. The changes, another thing. Mm -mm So it's almost like practicing sight reading where, you know, it's it's generally a good idea if you're practicing sight reading to uh, just force yourself to go down the page and, and not stop, to actually practice not making mistakes. I'll sort of do the same thing with, you know, with that, with that kind of like, that's not me practicing a tune yet. That's me trying to figure out where the cobwebs are and keep going and just sort of simulate those stressful situation. that, situations. That's another thing that comes up pretty frequently um, and, and a lot of students ask me about that. It's like, what do you, you know, combating nerves and stuff like that. My only solution for that is uh, yeah, things have to be in the memory banks in such a way that you don't have to think about them. And you can, because you're going to have other, when you're nervous, that you're thinking about other things. I am anyway, you know, my, my attention is elsewhere. And it's, it's great to say like, um, oh, sure, just focus or take a few deep breaths or be present. Yeah, wonderful advice. Uh, but in the real world, that doesn't always... Um, that's not the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, I'm just I'm just rambling. It's been a busy few weeks. It's been a busy start to the new year. Before I was on this tour with my band last week, I was in, uh, well, I played Disney Hall with Snarky Puppy. We played with the LA Phil, which was amazing. <laughs> we played Santa Barbara. And I had like a very quick turnaround, like three hours at home before heading off on my tour. Oh. That jazz life. <laughs> jazz life. The weekend before that, I was in Orlando, Florida, playing with Gavin DeGraw. of a piano player and singer, kind of coming in out of the Billy Joel tradition of, of you know, piano songwriter stuff. Just awesome. Ah. Killer band that he's got going on. And yeah, days before that, I was home for a couple days, and right before that, I was in, the, in Miami for Snarky Puppies Ground Up Music Festival, which was really fun, a really great time. It was the first time we were performing these 13 new songs that we recorded last year that are coming out on the new album, Immigrants. Uh, March 15th. It's like, it's spelled, it's like, God, you see that bug? Immi immigrants, immigrants, immigrants? I, I don't know why I'm ha I have difficulty saying it. Immigrants. Anyway, like 13 new songs. The week before even that, we spent three days rehearsing. I've never rehearsed with Snarky Puppy. I've played with them for six years. I've, I don't, I've never rehearsed unless you count the what we do right before we record the song. I've done that, but I've never like just rehearsed for a show with them. So that was a really unique experience. A lot of hard work for everybody to kind of relearn so much material uh, along with older stuff that's coming back into the mix. Uh, by the way, I will be on tour with Snarky Puppy this year. Please just check out my website for tour dates. Uh, there, anything that I'm doing with them that I know about right now, it's on my website, bobreynoldsmusic.com. It's right there on the front page. Every gig that I'm playing with Snarky, the gigs I'm playing with my band, we're about to go to Europe for three weeks. We'll be in the UK at the end of March. We'll be all over there. London, Dublin, Glasgow, Cardiff, uh, Southampton, Manchester. We'll be in Europe. We'll be in Paris, Berlin, Madrid, um, somewhere in Portugal, Cologne, Prague, and Rome. Unfortunately, we won't be anywhere in Scandinavia. Uh, we won't be in any of those countries. And, and I had made a video a while back saying, We'd like to come there. I'm not sure what happened, um, but according to the booking agents, it's still a, it's a tough sell over there because basically the venues are like, 
Who? I'm all over the place with this video. You know what this video is? This is a hi. How have you been? It's been a while video. The longer I go without making one of these, the more I feel I'm, this is not, that's, uh, I miss the dialogue. I miss our, our communication. I really do enjoy that, that conversation. And, and honestly, in the past, a lot of the videos that I've, I've made have been a direct result of, you know, things that we get into in the comments on the videos here. So yeah, so this is loose, man. This is like, this is loose. This is free, free, impo free improv right here is what this video is. I don't know why I still have my jacket on. I basically just told myself I was gonna put up a video today, come hell or high water. So that's what, that's what this is. I'm trying to, I have two weeks at home. I have two weeks before some serious road travel. I will be opening my virtual studio again in that time. There's a lot going on, but my primary concern is, is getting rest and being in really good shape for this. We're gonna have a, kind of a grueling tour. I have to go back and count the dates, but it's kind of like, it's something along the lines of like 17 shows in 20 days or something. It's gonna be an intense. I slept the other night for, I was in bed for about, I don't know, 11 hours the night we had the time change. And I woke up, I felt like I hadn't had any sleep at all. I'm still in that stage, just kind of playing catch up from uh, six weeks or so of very little sleep. So that's where I am. How you doing? You good? By the way, check out this mug. I have no idea what I'm gonna call this video.